we on. Some more breakdown in the cradle. Uh, so I'm going to get put in the hammer lock. Okay, perfect. Okay, see what's going on right now? Happens around the world. Okay, let's go back again just for a second. Happens to let's look at police, look at security guard. Dude to, did his little level one course. We're all training, we're all happy. Put me in a hammer lock. And this is what happens, right? Isn't that what happens? It doesn't work. So this is why you do this one, because stuff doesn't work. And I want to show you that it's going to, it's going to work. So his right form, are you right form on my, on my tendon? Yes. Make it sharp. Make, oh, I can feel it. It'll be rough. Yeah, that's it. See, I'm listening already because it freaking hurts. But what if I'm hammered? What if I'm drunk? What if I'm on drugs? And we have to rely on leverage. So although it may not hurt, the leverage has to be where it's bringing me down. So, so far he's doing it good. He's got a push-pull going on. So he's pushing with the right and the left is pulling me up. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go towards him because that's where he's telling me to go. But he doesn't want me to face him. So he's gotta keep going lower himself. Yes. Oh. And then why should, why should you put your knees on the ground? Why should you be uncomfortable? You need to put your knees up on me. So both knees go up on me, on my body, and make yourself comfortable. Go more, go more. Oh my God, it hurts. It's fantastic right now. Now I wanna get up. So he's gotta control my body with his knees. He goes to the lesson one, which is controlling the wrist, and applies pressure. Okay, I want you to do the invisible arm lock. Ah, or the goose head. You know, put my wrist in the shape of a goose head, don't support my wrist. Put your thumbs through the fingers and squeeze it on. Okay, so he's got a lot of pressure going on. Now he wants me to get up. How is he gonna do that? He needs to make a hole in the direction he wants me to go. So if he wants me to get up, he moves backwards. He tells me to move backwards because my brain is really hazy right now. But how is he gonna get me to stand up? He's got to squeeze it on. <laughs> squeeze it on. And that makes me get up. When I pull away, you know, and, and stuff happens, you want to cradle right away. You hook it. Boom. You hook it. And you put that pressure right there. See? Let's go up and down. Uh, this right here. Push. Boom. See? That's when you need the pressure. Boom. And then you start to time it with stepping away. Boom. And that's what. Drives him to the ground. Don't put your feet and knees on the ground. Land on me, but be conscious of my breathing, of my health. And if I start telling you I can't breathe or make funny noises, then you have to adjust. Okay? And tell me what to do. Okay, I will, man, I will. Okay, so it's really, really important to. From your level one, now that we're moving into the level two, you to understand you might be doing this by yourself, which a lot of the viewers on YouTube have been asking, how, you know, what do I do when I'm by myself? Well, there's a lot that you can do, but when you're busy doing all your, your movements, then I would go back to my pummeling skills, and now I've got this underhooking skill, which we'll work on, which is getting to a, a cradle position of the arm where accidents sometimes happen. Thank you.